Welcome back to the Liverpool Master League series. Today we have a lot of things happening, guys. First of all, we've got a very important game in the Europa League because if we take a look at the current standings, I have to say I haven't done very well in the group stages and it would be very embarrassing if I do not make it out of this group, guys. So uh, today we're going to be starting with a very important match there. Of course, at the end of the last episode, we also sent in a bid for Mbappe. So we'll see if they uh, accept that after this uh, match, of course. But I'm going to be starting a pretty strong team here guys in the Europa League simply because we have to win it so hopefully we can start it off guys with the three points today nicely done from Harvey here we go Diogo Jota turns and oh it's not a bad start guys Harvey has started incredible this game look at this football come on Harvey Elliott is 3-1 goal can he finish it and he tries to go under the keeper we have started this match very positive let's see if we can uh, keep going now from this corner it falls to robertson we'll get this one back to trent is that offside i don't think so trent alexander arnold McAllister. let's see get this one into the box and diogo jota man how have you not scored yet jota this is incredible. Can we get this one to Diaz? Look at that from... Oh my god. Diaz finally has a goal. But that assist from Harvey, guys, is one of the most satisfying assists I think I've ever seen. The movement on that pass was unbelievable. Let's take a look at this. Diogo Jota with a nice pass. And I didn't think he would be able to get that one in on his weak foot. But wow. Harvey Elliott, man. That is world class. And finally, Luis Diaz has his first goal of the season. It took me quite a few matches, but uh, it's there. Harvey Elliott has been my man of the match this game. Come on, Trent, long shot. Ooh, it was not looking bad, actually. What a performance we're having. Come on, can we get the second goal and wrap it up? Diaz. Uh, what's he gonna do? Find Robertson. Back in. And there we have... Oh, no. For them to settle into that practice just now. No! Oh, wow. That was actually really good football. Imagine if we had conceded, guys. That would ruin everything. McAllister, long shot. Here we go. Ah, oh, it's straight at him. And there we go. We have the three points. Only one goal today, but uh, we dominated this uh, performance, guys. And that means that the other team is 100% knocked out of the tournament. But um, that was uh, pretty expected anyway, I think. So hopefully now, you know, we are at least second in the group. That would make me feel a little bit better. But let's take a look at the current standings. And Liverpool, we are still third. But in our last game, I believe we have either Standard Liege or Granada again. So, I mean, we just have to win that one. Obviously, it's going to have to be a must-win game. Um, and we'll have to wait and see if we probably... We're probably going to make it on to, uh, only a second-place uh, finish. So, we'll get a bit of a difficult uh, round of 16 or round of 32. I think there's more teams in this competition than in the Champions League. But now, we have Luton. But first of all, let's see... What is going on with Mbappe? I'm sorry to report that Kylian Mbappe has declined our offer and therefore we won't be able to sign him. He's a fighter that PSG can't afford to lose. We couldn't move past salary expectations. Yeah, I mean, I did offer not the most salary, but that is because I simply cannot afford any more salary than that. So, um, yeah, I, I it was a little bit too low there. I could go in with another offer, but I think, guys... What this team needs is probably just, you know, a lot more signings than just one big one. Guys, I know it would be awesome to sign Mbappe, but for now, uh, I think I will uh, let him be at the PSG. And uh, the Mbappe dream is uh, probably over for this time. But we do have quite a lot of money because we sold some huge players in the last episode. Obviously, one of them being Mohamed Salah. Um, yeah, really disappointed that uh, he's going to be leaving. But, uh, you know, that means that we, we do have quite a bit of money. And um, this guy is a player I would absolutely love to have in the team. And, um, yeah, he's obviously a lot of youngster, but he can play. I mean, he's uh, normally an attacking midfielder, but probably can play, uh, you know, different positions as well. And so much potential, I think we'll try to pick him up pretty early. Um, so I don't think we have to spend too much money on him. Appearance bonus will give him a nice appearance bonus. It's it's so little anyway. If he scores a goal as well, you know, we'll just max out all of these bonuses. 
Um, so yeah, three years. I'm happy about that. Let's see, guys, if uh, that is going to be our first signing of the episode. The second signing I want to make is a left winger. And uh, yeah, of course, uh, you know, Luis Diaz haven't been the best performer this season. And I just need somebody with incredible pace, guys. Um, and this guy kind of reminds me a little bit of... Uh, a former player we used to have in the club, Sadio Mane, Diaby, I think this guy is absolutely incredible. Uh, plays on the left side, as Sadio Mane did, he is uh, super, super fast as well. 95 acceleration, good dribbling, and I feel like, yeah, you know, we can make him become even better. Probably need to work on the shooting and everything like that, but, um, you know, he's going to be a little bit more expensive than Musiala. Uh, we'll give him everything he wants here. Um, he's positive about signing with our club, so... That sounds good to me. Appearance bonus. I don't think he needs appearance bonuses because he's going to be playing a lot. But a goal bonus is fine. And a win bonus. There we go. Um, so we'll send that offer as well for Diaby. Hopefully they accept it. Before we move on, let me talk about today's sponsor. Gamdom is an online betting and gambling website where you can bet on upcoming football matches during the summer or for example play classic casino games such as roulette, blackjack and much more. For example, right here you can see me play the popular online game Crash on the website. I'll take it out at 3x, I'm happy with that. And right here you can see me also placing some bets for some of the upcoming preseason matches this summer. Of course, you have to be 18 plus to use this website, so as always, make sure to gamble very responsibly. So right now you can sign up using my affiliate code 2S7 to get yourself an instant 15% rake back. So thank you so much to Gamdom for sponsoring this video, let's get back into it. Our scouting department has also found some players that we could potentially sign. So we'll take a look at this list, guys, and see what they've got. So a right back, of course, um, you know, we've already signed this uh, this guy from Sevilla. So he's going to be joining us this uh, January. Uh, and we've got a couple other uh, right backs options as well if we need to. Uh, Veltman, I don't think I'm going to be looking for centre backs. We have a lot of depth uh, right there. Uh, but maybe another, you know, midfielder would be nice as well. Uh, Ruben Neves, Goretzka, ooh, Goretzka, guys, is not a bad option, actually. I, uh, I would be, uh, I would be down for that, of course, right now, our main starting midfielder is Curtis Jones, and he is pretty young, so if he can, uh, rotate a little bit or learn some things from Goretzka, that would be huge. There's a high chance of success, this sporting director is uh, saying. Um, today, everybody has been very positive about, uh, you know, making this move, so... Uh, we'll give him some nice bonuses, um, and yeah, three years on the contract. Uh, release fee probably can be a little bit less because we're buying him for hopefully around 50 million. So uh, we'll, we'll have it like that, and um, yeah, there we go, guys. Let's see if uh, they also accept Goretzka. So we're gonna have to wait and see if they accept any of those uh, three players. Um, but yeah, let's just start Mohamed Salah this game, even though he's leaving in a few weeks' time. Uh, he's gonna have to play because, uh, you know, I I'm going for my strongest lineup here. Uh, Gomez actually did really well at right back. Let's start uh, Ibu Konate yet again. And, you know, for this game, we'll actually rest McAllister and give Carvalho a go. So, let's see if this is enough to beat newly promoted Luton Town. An early free kick for Luton here. The commentator actually just said that Luton has the worst defensive record in the league. So hopefully we're going to be able to score at least a couple of goals today. Mohamed this is better. Salah. Mohamed Salah. Yes, there we go. We haven't played that well, but uh, Mohamed Salah is there and he's always so clinical. He doesn't need many chances, guys. The commentator actually just said that we haven't won here in our past five home games. So it's about time that we pick up three points, but um, still long time left. No. Oh, thank you so much. Konate is there and now we can attack. Come on, Darwin. Oh, I see Jota as well. Jota up to Darwin. This is good. Carvalho. Darwin. Jota. Jota, come on. Oh. Uh, he's still going. Look at him. Diogo Jota whips it in and it falls to Curtis. Maybe Carvalho. Oh, it's... I'm not too sure what to do here. We'll just try and keep the ball. Come on, boys. Need to get the second goal here. Curtis Jones. 
Nice to done from Carvalho and that ball to Gomez is beautiful and it ends up being a uh, okay attempt, I guess. It's another victory, guys, but maybe not the best performance in the world. And look at the goal scorer, Mohamed Salah. I just thought something. We have to replace Salah. I mean, that was my plan with Kylian Mbappe. He was going to be my Mohamed Salah replacement, but... You know, when he goes, who else do we have that can play right wing? Harvey Elliott? That is about it, you know. So, we really need to try to find a solid replacement because he is by far our best player. And losing him is not going to be easy. Um, but yeah, at least we're climbing a little bit now up in the table. We have won our first two matches today. I don't think that's actually happened in an episode so far. But obviously, we haven't had the most difficult opponents uh, yet either. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm really, you know, thinking a little bit about this uh, Salah situation. De Bruyne has won the World Best Player Award as well. Congratulations on the Ballon d'Or. That is probably a very fair result. Uh, cool to see a midfielder win it uh, for once as well. Regarding our negotiation to San Musiala, he's accepted our offer. There we go. Diaby has also accepted our offer. And Goretzka, guys. Every single one of them has accepted and there we go Trent Alexander Arnold has been working hard at individual training and as a result he can now play a different playing style he is now competent in the box to box playing style so um yet again he is just improving in that midfield role guys that we are playing him in at the moment so now we just have to accept all of these uh, transfers um of course Montiel is already one that we have signed before he's also going to be joining this January but now we have Goretzka joining up I think uh yeah, they, they didn't even want me to change anything, you know. 86,000 in salary is very good for Goretzka, I think. Um, same goes with Musiala. This guy is very cheap, you know, but very, very young. He is one for the future. So uh, there we go. And uh, Diaby, I mean, this guy, I have a good feeling about him. He can actually play right wing, but I think he is more of a natural left winger. Um, he is a left-footed uh, player as well, so yeah, I think I'll keep him on the left, but obviously we, we, we will always have that option to play him on the right as well. Um, but I think that, yeah, we, we need a proper player who is indeed a, a, a right winger. That, that is basically the only position that he plays, so I need to, you know, do some research right now and figure out a player that would be genius to sign and that can maybe replace Mohamed Salah, even though I think... That's pretty much impossible. I have just done some searching, guys, for players at uh, the right wing position. And I believe I have found three very good options. So, well, let's take a look at them. First of all, we have Chiesa, who has been a little bit injured in recent uh, years. But when this guy has, uh, is at his best, he's absolutely unbelievable. Uh, he's probably going to be quite an expensive option, though. So... Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know if we can afford a salary, but he is uh, one of the options. And then we have Kulusevski, and uh, the real ones will know about this guy when I did another series uh, with Kulusevski. He was unbelievable for me. Um, I have a feeling that we could turn this guy into one of the best uh, players, guys, but yet again... He is at Tottenham, so I don't know if they want to sell him. The last one, though, is Rodrigo, and this guy, yeah, I am I am really, really excited about, guys. I have a feeling this guy as well is going to become one of the best players in the world at some point, and he's obviously done very well with Real Madrid. He's probably going to be, you know, the, the cheapest option out of these three right-wingers, so... Uh, yeah, guys, I, I think I'm leaning towards Rodrigo. Uh, let, let's see if Real Madrid would want to sell him, but... I think this could be a nice replacement uh, for Mohamed Salah, guys. I have a good feeling. So, uh, yeah, weekly salary. Let's let's try 58,000. Uh, contract length, uh, three years. Uh, goal bonus. Yeah, we'll have a goal bonus. He's not impressed with our current offer. Ah, okay. Um, let's see if we can take it up a little bit more than 64,000 uh, on a two-year contract. And then, of course, we can do a new contract if he does well with a little bit more money. Uh, appearance bonus. It uh, doesn't need that. He's going to be playing a lot. Uh, win bonus. Yeah, we, we can take the goal bonus up a little bit more. So, yeah, guys. I'm not too sure if, if it's going to happen. Of course, we are paying the release close here. But, you know, Rodrigo has got to accept it himself. So, we'll have to wait and see. But I'm uh, optimistic that, um, yeah, we can... Uh, make this signing happen. McAllister is going to be coming back for this game. Of course, Thiago is another player that's going to be leaving the club. So I'm actually very happy that we made that Goretzka signing. I think that was very, very smart. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll go with this team, guys, for the away game against the Sheffield United. And I quickly just want to take a look at the 
schedule to see, you know, kind of where we are right now. Uh, we are actually in December, so, you know, not very long until January. And this is where we're going to be losing players. But also at the same time, we're going to be getting like, you know, four new players already coming in. Maybe five now with, of course, Rodrigo. So... Yeah, it's uh, not long left, guys, with um, Mohamed Salah at the club. So let's hope that we can have a good December. For a game of this what a ball, Curtis. Here we go. Jota. Come on. Can we get this one in to Mohamed Salah? Oh, almost a perfect start to the game. But yet again, guys, shows just how important Salah is for this team. He's the only one scoring goals, it feels like. Come on, Jota on the left, and there we go. Diogo Jota can score with left or the right foot. What a player. And um, yeah, what an episode he's having, by the way. What? He's definitely turning into one of my favorite players easily. There is space for Diaz here. Cuts inside. Luis Diaz. Okay, he has won a corner kick. I feel like Diaz as well, guys, is starting to, you know, improve a little bit game by game, of course. He was injured for such a long time. Curtis Jones crosses it in. That's a good, good ball. But, um, yeah, Jota doesn't get the most power behind that one. There we go. What a ball. And McAllister is through. Come on, Alexis. And, yeah, he doesn't really have the pace, guys, unfortunately. Can we get the second? Jota turns. Jota shoots it in the bottom corner. What a player, guys. Diogo Jota. I am never going to be selling him. And I hope he never wants to leave the club. He probably is right now my favorite player. Wow. He, he's just scored two amazing goals, guys. With his left and, of course, now with his right. He does not have a weak foot. Good hold-up play. And perfect placement. Ooh, Sheffield with a extremely powerful shot. <laughs> I don't want any comebacks happening or something like that in this game. Get it out of there, guys. Curtis Jones steals it. And look at Jota, man. Jota is through, guys. Can he get his hat trick? And referee, that is a red card. Send him right into the showers, please. Get him out of here. Clear his red. Oh, my God. Yellow? Did he get the ball or something? I mean, that is the clearest red I've ever seen in my life. Let's take a look at this and... I don't know, guys. I don't think he even touches the ball, but... Wow. It, it should be a red card. So, uh, no hat-trick for Jota yet, but... Ooh, maybe we could do something. Look at this. They're expecting me to shoot here. They're expecting me to shoot, but we give it to Jota. No! It almost worked out. It's over, guys, and we have another three points in the bag. Three games today, three victories. Am I dreaming? I don't think this has happened so far in the series, guys, even though we haven't had the most difficult teams. We have messed up against, you know, even worse teams earlier on in this series, you know. So this is great, guys. We're finally starting to pick up some points. We're now at least into the top 10. And I mean, we still have, you know, a chance of fighting for the title if we if we keep going like this. Uh, it's only 10 points after, uh, you know, the first uh, 10 uh, matches or something like that. Haven't been too many games uh, so far. Um, so yeah, I, I am really, really excited, guys, uh, if we can uh, have a good run now. Of course, I don't know what's going to happen in January, though, when we literally are going to be getting a whole new team. Surely it cannot be any worse than what we have done so far this season. So I know it might not be that smart to sign so many players at once, guys, but we have to do it. This team needed a whole new rebuild, and um, that is what we're doing, guys. Uh, regarding our negotiations to sign Rodrigo, he's accepted our offer. There we go, guys. Wow, we've had four out of four today. Uh, except Mbappe, though. He did not accept our offer, but he, he just wants, uh, wants the money, of course. But I have a feeling that these players, guys, that we've signed today also really wants to join the club and, and help this rebuild. So uh, the terms have been finalized. He's demanding a low contract release fee. Let's accept it, guys. And um, yeah, wow, what a signing this is. Really, really excited to see Rodrigo. That is literally going to be my Mohamed Salah replacement. 
So, uh, yeah, we might have to give him the number 11 shirt as well. So there we have our five signings completed, guys, which is going to be joining us this January. And right now, I'm actually pretty happy that, uh, you know, Mbappe did not accept that offer because if it did, we would not be able to sign any other players. And this team, you know, needs... Uh, a lot of new uh, people into the squad, you know. Uh, now I feel like we have good depth in every single area. It's nothing that's lacking right now. Maybe another defensive midfielder is something we can look forward to in uh, in January. I might make one more signing. Um, but yeah, I I'm very happy with these uh, five guys. And I, I cannot wait to see them join us. Of course, we are going to be losing Thiago. We're going to be losing, you know, um, Salah as well. So uh, I think it's good that we have all of these players coming in. Next match, though, is going to be another home game here at Anfield against Aston Villa. And I'm going to be starting the same team as I did in the last game. Come on, Jota. Score me some more goals, please. Nicely done, Mo Salah. Finds McAllister, gives it to Curtis Jones, what a start this would be, Curtis and he smashes it home! Oh my god guys, what has happened to this team? This is unbelievable, I'm not used to this at all. Curtis Jones hits the top corner and uh, it all starts with Mohamed Salah tracking back, winning the ball and there we go, it's another assist as well for McAllister. Incredible control from Salah there. But Aston Villa are starting to put on the pressure. And look at this man! Oh, Allison. Come on, boys. Can we get the second goal? That would be huge. Jones. McAllister now. The players are tired, but I'll go with the shot. Gonna make a couple of changes, guys. Players are uh, starting to become a little bit tired. So let's see if um, this is uh, a good change. To the box. No! Oh wow! I I, I was pretty uh, sure Allison was just gonna go out and catch that one, but you know nothing happened, and um, that's a huge chance wasted for Aston Villa. Come on, boys! Come on, here we go! Curtis Jones looks for Harvey, who's just come on. Should be getting to that one. Yes, Harvey gets it back into Jota. No! You gotta score that one, Jota, to wrap the game up. Oh, that is very unlucky him to miss that chance. But look at this from Harvey, guys. He does really well, but what a miss. Aston Villa, and there we go. That surely gives us the victory in this one. What a game, guys. Three points yet again. And uh, we keep climbing the table. That means we are up to ninth. And, um, yeah, I mean, even City, guys, were literally, like... Uh, 15th place in the last episode now they are fourth so they have started to uh to really get some um a, a nice run of form guys uh hopefully that is going to be happening or keep happening with us as well we now have like three victories in a row in the premier league so it hasn't been against the most difficult teams as i said but you know you can only win w with uh, what's in front of you you know so i'm, I'm very happy about this hopefully it gives us a lot of confidence and uh, there we go a streak of liverpool wins that's the First time I've seen that in uh, in quite a long time. But the next game, guys, is actually a must-win game. Or it's a must-not-lose game. Um, I don't know if we are going to be having enough with a draw. We are going to be playing against Granada. And they have a better goal difference than us. So yes, guys, we have to win this game. If we lose it, we are not making it into the next round. So uh, yeah, this is uh, maybe the biggest game of the episode. I'm going to be starting this game with Gokbo. He looked really good when he came on last time. And for this game, we'll actually give Darwin Nunes a shot as well. Uh, wow, my players are actually pretty tired. So you know what, Thiago, he's going to be playing Van Dijk. I mean, I cannot be resting Van Dijk in this game. We are going with this, guys, even though we have a tired team. Please just win this game and we can start rotating a little bit more. I am absolutely loving this stadium, by the way. No, 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 no. Is that offside? Oh, thankfully, Konate is there. Imagine if we concede the first goal, guys. I'm going to be so nervous. Come on, Salah, do something for me in your last European game with Liverpool. I really want to score a goal early to kind of settle the nerves a bit. Because as long as it's nil-nil, we are not going to be going through. And look at this, Granada, man. They have actually started this game really well. Uh, they are also playing for a lot, you know. If they also lose this game, 
they are also going home. So, um, yeah, it, it's a must-win game for both teams. Come on, Salah, please. Please, Salah, let's shoot it. Mo Salah, that is powerful. Gakpo, Nunes, Nunes turns, Darwin, oh, what is that shot? First half is done, and uh, to be honest, guys, I am nervous here. We've only got 45 minutes now to uh, to score a goal. We uh, haven't done much yet, so I think I might already make some changes here. And that is to bring uh, uh, Diogo Jota. I mean, his stamina is terrible. But I'll actually get Luis Diaz on for Gakpo. And I'll probably sub in Diogo Jota a little bit later. But um, I'm going to have to wait. Uh, I will get uh, Simikas on there. A little bit of pace on the left side. Trent with the best pass I've seen. And no, Darwin, man. Please don't tell me it's one of those games where he never gets any goals. But Trent, what are these passes? He's unbelievable. Another free kick for Granada. He's probably going to shoot this one as well, but it is straight into the wall. Come on, Trent. Up to Darwin. Oh, I have not got a good feeling about this at all. Only 30 minutes to go now. And the pressure is on us, of course. We literally have 15 more minutes, guys. We are going out of the Europa League. That is so embarrassing. Come on, Thiago now. Yes. Bit of space here. And he gives it to Mo Salah, but the pass is, is so dead, Thiago, man. One final change, and I think it's going to have to be, you know, Diogo Jota. He has scored a few goals for us so far today. Let's see, guys, if he gets that one chance. Jota. Tiago, man, you're so dead. It's unbelievable. And Granada. Oh, I thought that was it, guys. But it is offside just about. Okay. These are the final seconds of the game, man. We have to score this attack. Come on, Trent, please. Gives it to Gomez. What a ball that is, by the way. Gomez back in to Mo Salah. Back down to Gomez. Let's cross it in, and it's not good at all. McAllister, Trent. No, Gomez, get to that. No, that's it, guys. Wow. Shocking stuff. Shocking stuff. I cannot believe it. That is very embarrassing, guys. We were probably the favorites to win this competition. I honestly think I underestimated this uh, competition uh, quite a lot, guys. Um, yeah, I just, you know, didn't respect it enough. So we deserve to go out, um, which means that we only have the Premier League to focus on. We have the Premier League. Are we still, I'm pretty sure we are still in the FA Cup as well. But, you know, that means that we're going to have to try to, you know, fight for maybe a uh, league title or at least top four to get, you know, Champions League next season. Um, but it's going to be very difficult, guys, to get a trophy now. Obviously, what we're going to hope is that we, you know, get a good run now in the Premier League, get some more points. Maybe all of a sudden we could be up there fighting for um, for the, the, the number one spot. But yeah, guys, that is, you know, obviously very embarrassing. Uh, negotiations with Carvalho. It's from Birmingham City. They are interested in signing him. And we also have a job offer here at Lyon. I mean, there's absolutely no way I'm, I'm going to, you know go away from Liverpool unless I get sacked, so... Um, but yeah, of course, Salah is getting sold. Darwin, we have an offer for him. I'm not going to be selling Darwin Nunes. And uh, let's take a look at this offer from Carvalho. Yeah, guys, uh, I would rather keep him. Um, he's actually not that bad of a player. Yeah, I think we will end that episode there. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, of course, the next episode is going to be absolutely huge because, you know, we're going to be getting all of these five new signings joining up with the team so uh the next episode guys is going to be by far the best one yet um so um thank you guys so much for the support on this series really appreciate it subscribe to the channel if you're brown there around there and i'll catch you very soon with episode number four